Guys, today we're going to talk about everything that happened to Kishinu and the future of this coin, and of course, some price analysis. So, here we are in Coinmarket Cap. Let's check out what's been happening to this coin for the last couple of hours, the last couple of days. Basically, here you can see the market cap is down by 5%. It says here 5%, so $175 million. And the volume is down by 34% for this coin here. So, a lot of stabilization has been happening, and we're still continuing to go slowly down here. It's not going too fast, but we are still going down step by step so why is this happening and what we can do well like what can we do to stop it well what we can do basically you just have to be patient and we have to see what's going to happen to bitcoin so that's the biggest problem if bitcoin continues to go down then we can't really do anything but if bitcoin does rebound soon then kishin will be able to slowly go up again until this bearish market is over we can't really do anything about that you have to stop the Bitcoin has to stop going down and then you make a huge reversal and go up again. So basically Bitcoin has been stabilizing because this, this coin also has been stabilizing. But yeah, 115,000 watch lists, which is amazing to see for this coin. So many more people, people are just interested into Kisha Inu. If you go here to the market, basically, you can see all the exchanges where you can buy the coin. You have so many different exchanges here, just amazing. And it looks like OKX is the top one. So most mostly people do buy an OKX, which is pretty cool to see. But let's continue. We got some news here. So this is their uh, Twitter here. They have 112,000 followers, which is pretty awesome. And I think this is their latest post saying Kishu team just landed back home from Miami after a successful weekend of connections and marketing. Stay tuned these next 24 hours for some exciting news. There you go. So exciting news is coming for Kishu Inu. They were out doing some marketing. They are doing some uh, business meetings. And because of this, they were, were working on this. Now we're going to see what's going to happen. I'm super excited for the Kishu Inu news. It says here, Polynex Exchange, among the tokens below, whose trading campaigns would you most like to join? It looks like Kishu has destroyed this chart here so people want to see kishu so let's go kishu this is kishu's flag i'm gonna read this but maybe at the end of the video for the people who don't really know what this is about but this is like their roadmap the future things they want to do for this coin but i don't think that's it yeah probably that's it for this for the twitter here but let's continue we actually have some posts here on the Reddit page but it's not really from the devs it's for it's mostly to the devs it says here devs if failure happens, everyone understands that, but the thing about failing is an opportunity to pick yourself up, learn from the mistakes, and show the world what you are made of. Unfortunately, since Sunday, you have turned one failure into four or five failures and shown that you are not learning from them. If you blow past a hard set deadline, you should never set a new hard set deadline. You should formulate a plan to recover once you have a plan. And then and only then do you address the holders. And it should not include a new deadline especially not a countdown clock. That was insulting four hours till we fix our screw up. As a holder, I want the fix as soon as the repair is available, not wait for a clock. It should be something along the lines of uh, openly acknowledging the mistake, don't make excuses or try to lie your way out. Lying out the laying out the plan to recover, followed by we are working diligently to, to rectify this mistake as quickly as possible and will have it fixed within the coming days. Do not set hard dead deadlines to recover from a failure. Every deadline you blow past is a new failure. And if you are only looking at this as one failure, you are already failing again. You are creating FUD by making empty promises and not delivering on each of those deadlines. Tissue was available at over a billion dollars and will be again. How do you think Apple shareholders would respond if Apple handled things the way you did this week? Apple should be sorted and people would sell off in droves. Now, luckily, this all happened when Kisha was only two months old in a massive market crash when there's nowhere else to go but up. Uh, I'm still team Kisha. I still appreciate everything you guys are doing. Please use this opportunity to learn how to not handle these instances in the future. Thank you. Have a great day. So what he's saying, saying here basically is that they have to learn from their mistakes. So they've been hitting some deadlines. They're trying to set up for themselves some big deadlines and they're not fulfilling those deadlines. So we still haven't seen the creator here. So we have to see some huge marketing creator who's going to promote the coin here. And we still do not know this. And we should have known like this like past weekend, but nothing happened. So 
they move the deadline, so we're gonna see what's gonna happen with that. A lot of people are already speculating who it could be, and I think they should be right pretty much, but we're gonna see. It says here, and if you want stability, go invest your change in Bitcoin. This is a 30 day old altcoin, get some patience. There you go. So they dev just say, hey, we are not gonna new Telegram ever again. Dev five minutes ago, we are muted for some community tasks. I started to enjoy it. So yeah, that's the biggest problem here. So they're setting some deadlines that they cannot make and they don't need to do that. Just don't set deadlines. Just say approximately it's gonna be next week or something like that. And when you're hundred percent sure it's gonna be in the next few hours, just say it. it's gonna be the next few hours. This is why the safe moon you know how the safe moon MA works basically. Say so do do we know it's gonna be on Sunday, but before that uh, just a couple of hours before that, they then announce it's gonna be in the next couple of hours. Then they, they don't do it in like on Friday or something like that. They just assume that it should, every, everything should be okay. But in the end, at the same day, then they say it's gonna be at that in that hour. So there you go. That's the biggest thing here. But let's continue. Let's continue. We have one more post it's pretty similar to this. It says here, we gotta take issue by the horns ourselves. I love this project. It has so much potential to go up when Bitcoin takes off. Unfortunately, we can't just rely on, de on developers to launch us. This is a community coin and we have to do it ourselves. Some ideas. Post teacher QR codes around your city. On social media, share photos with catchy has hashtags, for example, your dog, pet, or yourself looking friendly. Best to keep it PG with Kishu QT. Or challenge five friends to tag their Kishu QT, etc. Make it go viral. Couple with, with one Akishu, whatever else you can think of, be clever. We have had a total of 160k holders. If each does their part, they can promote a lot more and go viral. Uh, then a few devs who are really struggling. Kishu Army LFG, this has so much potential to leave in the hands of anyone but yourself. Bitcoin coming back, let's pick ourselves up and do it. Community coin, let's fly our own plane and we get what we earn. Nothing more and nothing less. Who's in? says here who is good with create uh, creative animated videos anyone in our group how about memes memes have uh, dropped off greatly since the drop but we need to live uh, our cute kishu and promote his identity so basically what this person is saying that we should take matters into our own hands to try to promote the coin any way as possible but of course we need good promotion we don't need fud so Go on Instagram, go on everywhere you can, post some awesome things about Kisha Inu. <laughs> Take a picture with your dog and just leave a hashtag Kisha Inu, something like that. So people are really trying to promote this coin. People still want to believe in this coin. And the problem is we have been going down. If you do check out the chart here, you can see massive decrease for this coin. But you can see the whole chart here is pretty much red. So it's not this coin's fault, it's basically Bitcoin. So if you do go to Bitcoin, Bitcoin did have a huge bump here. But now we did have a little decrease. Now we're pumping up again. This is why it's pretty weird. We're gonna see what's gonna happen to Bitcoin. Hopefully, Bitcoin does break to the top side. The biggest problem right now, we're still making lower highs. As you can see here, we're still kind of going down. And that's the biggest problem. If we could, it would be the best thing ever if we could break this pattern, try to go up even more and continue to go up. If not, then what's gonna happen is that we're gonna break to lower lows, basically, or something like that. And that's just not good, guys. That's just not good at all. If you look at Kishu here, Kishu is down by 8%, but right now we're seeing some rebound. So right now it's trying to uh, go back up again. And it's just following Bitcoin. The biggest problem is all of these like dollar coins didn't really pump up too much. Like Shiba, this is a Kitino, you know, but Shiba Inu, it did pump here a little bit, but same thing with Kisha. It's a little bit, yeah, a little bit of a pump. It's not too big of a pump because Bitcoin did pump a lot more. It should have gone all the way to this low right over here, but it didn't. And that's the biggest problem. And because this, we're still stabilizing right over here. And we got, because we got some safety at this level, as you can see. Okay, a lot of safety. But the problem is, we got, this is once, twice, a third time here. I don't think we could go for a fourth time, because if we do hit the fourth time, basically we're going to see a lot of decrease for the coin. It should drop even more after this, if Bitcoin continues to go down. Now, but because Bitcoin is rebounding here pretty soon, hopefully it could break this level. Now, the problem I'm seeing already here is that Bitcoin is just following the same pattern where we do go up here, boom, get rejected, second time get rejected. So if we get rejected second time here, it's gonna be pretty bad, like really bad for the coin. It should mean the coin will continue to go down, will break to the downside, 
and probably hit this like something like this where we just hit this level again so that's gonna be pretty bad for this coin of course it doesn't mean ha it has to happen right now I can just stabilize here slowly then go down and next step and next step something like this but we're gonna see what's gonna happen hopefully hopefully we're gonna be pretty bullish and hopefully the Bitcoin will break to its upside in the end here because if it does it's gonna be really good for everybody here so Kishinu needs to really do their job they need to really set the deadlines they have been saying here that they were on business uh, like adventures let's say business partnerships and based because this we should be seeing some new news from them oh yeah people are estimating they think that the person they're talking about the Kishinu the one that's going to do the marketing for us should be like will be Ronaldinho so why Ronaldinho it's because they're they just followed him on Instagram and you can see that Ronaldinho has been just posting <laughs> just posting some different cryptos so will that help the coin we're gonna see there is a chance they could pump the coin a little bit but uh, there's they see Ronaldinho confirmed so it says here Ronaldinho confirmed go check out who's the official case to Instagram account has just started following in the last hour and also like his most recent photo so there you go so judging by his recent uh, story post he is in dubai right now explains the delays with the time zones and waiting for a certain window to make the announcement anyway let's uh, wait for official confirmation hopefully tomorrow other it appears a kitchen member mike b has boarded a plane to dubai from jfk a couple of hours ago the flight time is at least 12 hours they have a have to sign the documents in person or bring Ronaldinho merch to wear. Crazy that Kishu team are flying across the road to make this happen, but it shows they are doing everything possible. So they really are working on this. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. But if you do go to their uh, Instagram here, oh, 43,000 followers, that's pretty awesome. But if we do go here to the to their following, we can just see Ronaldinho here. There you go. And Ronaldinho has been promoting some different coins. So this is pretty interesting, but we're going to see what's going to happen here. Hopefully he does promote the coin, but the problem is like he has 200k likes here. And he normally gets like 1 to 2.5 million. It's not a good promotion when he, if he only like pictured the coin here. He has to like be him in the picture and he is him just wearing some swag or something like that. Kishu swag. That would be pretty cool. So we're going to see if anything good can happen. He has 55 million followers. So that's an insane number. Like I said, we're going to see what's going to happen. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to be him. And hopefully good things are going to happen here. But yeah, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. But in the end, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to buy these coins, please do your own research first. If you did enjoy this video, it means so much to me. If you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.